Hi everyone, my name is Tao Yang. I'm from University of Utah. Today I will present a paper, Maximizing Marginal Fairness for Dynamic Learning to Rank. It's a joint work with Professor Qin Yao Ai. Rankings are ubiquitous. We can see a rank list when we shop online. We can see a rank list when we want some results uh, from the search engine. We can see a rank list when we want to go some nearby restaurants. We can also see a rank list uh, from uh, when we want to see a movie online. But how to rank them is what we are going to discuss today. Uh, let me first give you a, a motivating example. For example, here we have two companies, company one and company two. Each company have three movies. Um, company one has A, B, C, movie A, B, C. The number here indicate its, uh, indicate its uh, relevance. How likely a user will like this movie? When we want to do a ranking task, uh, we are going to rank them. Traditionally, we will uh, sort the movies according to their relevance. Um, first, goes to, uh, first we rank A, B, C, then D, E, F. Um, however, and uh, each rank has its exposure. Here we, uh, exposure is defined as uh, how likely a person or user will uh, view this rank. And uh, we accumulate the relevance and exposure for each company. And we found that although the, the movies from each company are very similar, got very similar relevance, however, their exposure are tremendously different. The reason is that uh, the, there exists a um, large skew of exposure from top, of, uh, from top between top ranks and bottom ranks. Uh, that's uh, the reason is that uh, we often, we human beings are always uh, put much emphasis on top ranks instead of the bottom ranks. Um, how to mitigate the difference between relevance and exposure. Our previous uh, exposure, previous uh, researcher proposed that uh, uh, we lead amortized fairness, which means uh, relevance help to decide the exposure items should get. Uh, the exposure should be proportional to the average relevance and uh, uh, the more an item, the more relevant an item is, and the more exposure an item should get. It makes sense. But uh, is this proportional relationship enough for ranking? Um, for example, we have eight uh, movies, and uh, we assume that it, it uh, satisfies the proportional relationships and it's fear. However, when we only take a look at the top four, it can, results can be severely unfair. And in this paper, we propose po fairness in top case settings. We, since we want to evaluate how unfair rankings are at a different prefix, just like NDCG, we think the top K fairness are more important Based on the uh, top K fairness, we propose the, the marginal fairness, which is the marginal gain of fairness when we introduce additional document. And uh, when we iteratively select items with maximum marginal fairness, it can help to mitigate unfairness. Uh, in this uh, paper, we proposed uh, an algorithm, MMF, to in, uh, to which introduced a stochastical mechanism 
to select items between uh, the one with maximum marginal fairness and the one uh, with most with the largest uh, relevance. The greater lambda is, the fewer the rankings are. Of course, we did some experiments to evaluate our method. Uh, there are two data sets. One is the new data sets uh, with, sim uh, with simulated preference. Uh, there are 30, 30 articles uh, from two groups, uh, left leaning and right leaning. And we, all, uh, and we also pre-processing movie lens data sets to get 100 movies from five companies. Um, in this paper, we simulate clicks uh, and uh, we simulate clicks and infer uh, relevance from the clicks by using some unbiased learning to rank clicks, uh, tech clicks. And here are six methods we are going to compare. The, first, the very first one is the naive algorithm, which rank items according to clicks. Uh, since it's not, a ranking or, uh, it's not ranking according to relevance, so it's a biased algorithm. Um, we also use unbiased estimator uh, or to estimate relevance and then do a ranking. So uh, a lot of uh, the remaining algorithms are all unbiased algorithm. And uh, the first two are unfair algorithm since they only consider relevance. And the last three uh, uh, methods we are going to compare are fair methods, which will try to trade off between fairness and the relevance. Um, let's first uh, uh, take a look at this graph. Uh, we want to know whether the unbiased estimator is truly effective, uh, even when we mitigate uh, unfairness at, uh, at the same time. Unfortunately, fortunately, yes, it's truly effective. As you can see, what the unbiased algorithm can um, uh, let's take a look at this graph. The horizontal is uh, how many presentations, how many users uh, have seen uh, these three, uh, the, uh, the data sets. And uh, the, uh, the vertical are the difference between, uh, of relevance between estimated uh, relevance and ground truth relevance. As you can see, the unbiased uh, algorithm can converge to zero. I mean, the red difference between the different, the relevance difference can converge to zero. Thus, we can make a conclusion that uh, the unbiased estimator is effective. While the naive algorithm, which is the uh, unbiased algorithm, it has a, 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 a difference which can't be count, uh, uh, which uh, it has a difference there always exists some difference between uh, um, the relevance uh, used uh, in naive algorithm. Now let's take a look at uh, um, how our method can uh, perform uh, in terms of trade-off between fairness and relevance. As you can see, our method MMF, the black line, can achieve better uh, NDCG performance compared with other fair methods like linear programming and field call. While it can, uh, it can, uh, it will, it has much lower unfairness. So we can claim that our method can achieve better trade-off. And uh, such performance also exists in movie lens data sets. Uh, here is a table that summarizes the performance of this paper. As you can see, our method 
can achieve better performance at top ranks uh, at uh, NDCG and unfairness. Uh, however, we also found that uh, our method of sacrifice uh, compromised a little bit uh, of long list uh, uh, fairness, while the state of art methods, uh, vehicle and linear programming are good at. Uh, thus, we, can, we would know that uh, existing state of the art methods are only considering long list uh, fairness which ignores the top K performance. That's, uh, the, re that's the contribution we, are, we make in this paper. And the, the con uh, we have made three contributions in this paper. We propose a concept of marginal fairness uh, and we develop a metric to measure the fairness in top K results. And we propose an algorithm to balance, to trade off the relevance and the fairness. That's all, thanks. Are there any questions? <laughs>